guys, and welcome to my season two rewatch of The Walking Dead. Uh, again, disclaimer, uh, I've obviously already seen all of these episodes. These rewatches are more about discussions of the episodes and things like that, and um, kind of get to see my feelings towards things that um, for a lot of these seasons, I, you know, didn't actually have reactions to. So for season two, we are going to be doing uh, pretty much dead already. There were a ton of episodes in season two that I feel like could have gotten selected, um, but this is kind of, I think, you know, includes a very, very infamous scene. We'll get to it. Let's get started. <laughs> I love this scene. This scene. <laughs> This scene is one of, like, my favorite Glenn scenes. <laughs> he says it so nonchalantly. So... The barn is full of walkers. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ooh, that Rick stare. Ooh, that Rick stare, though. Oh, that Rick stare. And you waited the night. I thought we could survive one more night. We did. Mm-hmm. The I'm Dale Shane dynamic. Oh, I loved it. Do you guys remember later in the season, which I thought was a really interesting scene? I don't know what made me think of it. I think we're around the same spot uh, it, on the farm uh, where Shane finds Carol. Do you guys remember that scene? And they have like a moment together where he's cleaning like uh, her arms because she just, um, it was after Sophia obviously, but it was a very, that sucks. It was a very, I, I always find that scene to be very interesting and one of the few moments where Shane actually really shows compassion to anybody that's not like Lori or Carl or, you know. I need you to stop. Now, question, so much question of the day, at how do you guys feel about me. Shane? Because a lot of people say Shane was right. I'm okay, really. Things are Rick eventually kind of turned into different. kind of what Shane, where Shane's head was already at. I think there's a little bit of truth to that, of course. I do. I do think that Shane was a little tunnel visioned in some respects and a little, yeah, I don't know, like he wasn't the most <laughs> mentally stable, but yeah, he really did okay. what needed to be done. Yeah. You mind running and getting me some water? But it takes a while just, for characters to progress to that and he kind of got there very quickly. Keep watch. Let me know what you guys thought about that. <laughs> Second question of the day. If this scenario I mean, happened you, now, do you think Rick would be as considerate towards like Herschel? You and I have our differences, the way we look at the walkers. Or would he just take over, Those get rid of the walkers in the barn, done, people. kaput? They may be dead, they may be alive, but my people, us, I think there are we definitely are points right now, where Rick would right have done here, that. Right in front of you. You said it's out there and that could change. I've given you safe harbor. Man, it's not okay. Rick. Lord is pregnant. Ooh. Oof. Oof. This is awkward. It is absolutely, I think, ridiculous that they weren't allowed to have, like, guns to defend themselves. Cause we need our guns. You know what? We can work this. Don't do this. I like that this seems to be the it's moment that he's kind of thinking about it. He's not... It's about you. It's about you he doesn't know, really get it until me. the end of this episode, but he's starting. The wheels are turning a little bit. Oh, you got back. I love that these two had yeah. such a like strong we relationship. He's, okay. he's fine. Well, why do you bail then? So you wouldn't tell me which way you went. I don't get it. Outside of the show. Oh, man. And John you got know. Steven into boxing and stuff like that. Oh, these two. The tragedy of the end of this episode. Jesus. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I forgot that they're dangerous. I don't care if they're sick people or dead people. They're dangerous. And then I realized something else. That I don't want you in danger, ever. Uh, 
So I hate to blow your dad's big secret, but I'm sick of secrets. Secrets get you killed. And I'd rather have you pissed off at me and alive than liking me and dead. So that's my turn. Hey, Walker Bite! Glenn. Don't call me that. <sighs> okay. That's why Glenn is such a great character in my mind, is that he he does what needs to be done. He steps up to the plate. He's very brave. But he also never really lost sight of being a good person. And in a show where a lot of people Man, lose that, we ain't been in the swamps much, I think he had like the perfect balance of both. Um, and and was a type of man that everybody really wanted to be like, I think, bag, in, huh? you know, anyway. This, mm -hmm. though, mm -hmm. oof, yeah. this. At least I can say, when the world goes to shit, I didn't let it take me down with it. I love, I love that line so yeah. much. Because I think a big question this show always has is, can you adapt to this world? But not only that, you like should you like adapt to this world? Do you want to compromise yeah, yourself? I mean, almost, I mean, look at the cast right now. Almost everybody you know, is going to die. Where is everyone? What you is their the legacy special. before they do? And they I were. love that. What the hell? Did you so compromise yourself? Everyone? Maybe you did for the Damn, love of your family, you for, to protect people. Gosh, Maybe that is a good trail. thing, but I like that they oh, here we go. showcase it in a lot of different characters. Good. Here we go. Such a great scene. I'm just so excited to watch. Hey, Hershey, man, let me ask you something. Did a living, breathing person, did they walk away from this? Right here. Fair point. Sinking in for Herschel. And devastated. I mean, because I think this is Herschel realizing that he was wrong, but it's also him realizing that his whole family is Enough. dead. You know what Enough. I mean? Like that all at once. Not whole family, you know what I mean? Shane was such a great character, even even if he's not, you know, maybe right all the time. Maybe you think he is right all the time, you know. He's showing you. They're dangerous. It is their loved ones that they're executing. You know, you look at like Maggie and Herschel and Beth, I mean, they're, and Patricia and, and Jimmy, they're really losing it because Ooh, what a shot. <laughs> and for those of you who don't read the comics, this is, this is, does not, nope, whole lot of nope when it comes to, uh, Sophia. <sighs> Honey. I've seen this so many times that I don't 
I don't know, I'm starting to feel tears coming on. I thought I was immune. <laughs> it being the little girl they were searching for for so long that they were praying to be alive. It even gets to Shane, you know, I, I love, I love this scene. Oh, Rick stepping up like the man that he is. And this shot, oh. I feel like that was one of, for people who did read the comics, one of the real detours. I mean, the fact that Shane made it so long um, in comparison to the comics, you know, that was, you know, something that was a little different and things were a little different, but I think that was one of the more significant um, changes. And I think that scene is so well done. Um, and I love it. I really like that episode, uh, but I have a feeling I'm going to like most of the episodes that I get picked for rewatches, uh, but yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this rewatch. I will be back tomorrow for the rewatch for season three. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.